Savvy Budget Collector here. Got our Hot Toys, Wonder Woman, Deluxe, Deluxe Version, Deluxe Edition, whatever you want to say. 1-6 scale by Hot Toys. Um, I know I said we'd have it out already, but we got sidetracked with a few other videos. So let's get right into this one. Um, as you see, you got a great picture of her on the front, which actually goes over to the side with her arm. Same thing on this side. So very good looking graphics. On the back it says, you can't save the world alone. You got that from the movie of course. Pull this right up out. On the back has the cast and crew of who helped make it. You have executive producer. Let's see who was the painter this time. Hong painted this one just like the last two that we've done. Let's see the front. All right. Good thing about the deluxe one is it comes with a jacket plus extra accessories. Okay, out of the box. As you see, it's all set up. All the hands in the lasso. Alright, we have some effects. We also have the shield and sword. Let's see if it'll stay in. Stop it. So we got the head off so you could take a good close look at it. Um, it is rooted hair. Looks really good. Face sculpt and the paint job looks great. The eyes literally look alive. Of course, when you're buying the Hot Toys, you know what you're getting. You know you're going to get something that looks good. So this is the mother box. It comes with the figure. It's got some good details. Um, What is that? What color is that? It's like a reddish. Reddish, reddish brown. Brown. Maybe like bronzy a little bit. Yeah. Looks good. It's got a ton of details. Looks um, red on camera. But... It'll look nice set up next to the figure. Is that visible right now or no? Alright, there is detail all over this. You have the symbols, you have writing. Um, the hilt has a bunch of detail all the way down it. Looks very good. Now, the shield. Yeah, that shield looks great. It even has battle damage in that shield. All over here, over here, you got straps and everything. It's even uh, looks good on the back in case you want to display it differently. Yeah, these are the non magnetic uh, magnetic ones, right? Or are these the magnetic ones? Non so these are the non magnetic ones, and the ones that are on her currently should be magnetic. Somehow, or well, you gotta take a plastic off we'll first. find out. Yep, we have rope, lasso. Got two of those that are plastic, and then one that is actually made out of rope. Um, four effects that are all magnetic. We'll have to figure out exactly where on her they go. They go arm bands. Okay, so they go on her armband. There's a couple bigger ones. Like this one's huge. Yeah, they might be easier to see. Yeah, the small ones aren't They're coming through harder. too good. Okay, so this is the deluxe stand instead of the basic one. It looks a little better. It does say Wonder Woman, Justice League. Um, it's texturized. It'll look really good. It'll really make her stand up higher than the rest and look probably a little better. Um, the coat is really neat. This was why I wanted the deluxe one. Has fur all the way around it. Really soft. I, I know it might not look like much on camera, but once it's on her, it'll look good.
So we have her sword on her back, her little butt flap. Gotta have one of those. She has something tripping down her leg. But take a look at the details in the armor on her legs. Looks really neat. You can see the damage in some spots. As long as there's anything on her other leg, we're good. To the back. Is it coming in good? Mm -hmm. I know some of these colors might not come across as good as I would like, but it's definitely sturdy. It's a little different than other Hot Toys. There isn't a visible joint here or in the legs. So it's seamless. And I like that because it does look more realistic. We'll be right back with her set up with holding a sword or something. Okay, so this is her extra set. This one doesn't seem to have a magnet in it, but it's a little more translucent. So it looks really good. You have all these extra sets of hands. This one for holding the, the lasso. Then you have a punching hand. A man hand. Why does that hand look like a big old man hand? For her, that looks way too manly. But we'll keep moving. Another gripping hand. So they have, what, six sets of hands. Same for each side, so she could be amp ambidextrous or whatever they say. Ambidextrous. Amba, ampa. Okay, she has her lasso on. Her knee pads look great. They're very sturdy. They stay on there perfectly. Um, oops. Okay, all in all, I would say it's a great uh, looking figure. Um, some things are a little delicate, like um, her knee pads, you know, you know women in knee pads, so they don't like to have them on all the time, only when they're doing their business. I would say buy it if you can, definitely get the deluxe because of this coat. Um, I will do some great pictures later on, check the, check the Instagram out, that'll be done on there. Thank you again for checking out the Budget Collector, this is going up in the next couple of days, but... There will be videos all week. We got a bunch of stuff coming out. Um, Miss Budget Collector got a bunch of new, what, two or three. So, make sure you check us out. Thank you guys. Budget Collector, the Collector Crew is growing every day. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, man. Have a good night.